diseases of potato now we'll see the list of important diseases in potato my name is anish shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in university so these are all the list of important diseases in uh, potato first one late blight which is caused by pet of the infestants and the second one is early blight which is caused by alternaria solani black scar for stem canker which is caused by rhizotonia solani dry root rot fusarium species what syncatrium endobioticum powdery scabs pongospora subterranea soft rot or black lead which is caused by a bacterial disease irvinia keratovara subspecies keratovara bacterial wilt or brown rot or bangle blight which is caused by pseudomonas solanaceae common scab or cork scab which is streptomyces scabies leaf roll uh, which is caused by uh, potato leaf roll virus purple top roll which is a mycoplasmal disease and last one is severe mosaic which is caused by potato virus y so now we'll see in detail about one by one the first one is late blight which is caused by pytopthora infestes so i just want to talk something about this this is where it has a great historical importance and the initiation of a new branch or new division for plant pathology so this disease is the reason for the initiation of a new branch uh, that is a plant pathology is a great historical importance where uh, this life cycle was uh, you know uh, identified by antoine de berry where we considered as a father of a plant pathology so he identified uh, uh, the life cycle of this disease and where you know uh, uh, people were hard to believe in those days that it was caused by a fungus so they believe that it might be caused due to you know uh, due to water or heavy rains and with a simple experiment anton de berry proved that this disease is caused by fungus that is pytopthora infestans before uh, uh, in naming the pytopthora infestans that was in, in, moreover uh, the name pytopthora infestans also given by anton de berry here pyto means plant thora means destroyer here before uh, uh, anton de berry called the late blight uh, which is caused by pytopthora infestans one more scientist montage who have uh, montage lindley those times they were the famous botanists so so in those days mostly it was deal, dealt by botanists only right taxonomists or botanists right so after initiation of a new branch or division that is plant pathology then the separated uh, scientific community has developed to study about the plant diseases alone so here the pyto means plant thora means destroyer before the pytopthora infestans where the lead blight uh, uh, people believed that it is caused by botrytis infestans before uh, uh, anton de berry named it as a pytopthora infestans montage called the lead blight disease is caused by uh, botrytis infestans later uh, uh, pytop i mean uh, anton de berry identified uh, the life cycle and called it as a pytopthora infestans so if you see the symptoms i don't want to study whatever i hear there i just want to give a most important prominent symptoms initially if you see on the right side water soaked lesions appears on the leaves small water soaked lesions appears on the leaves this water soaked lesions increases in size increases in size slowly and later turned into purple brown in color uh, within 2 to 3 days at a low temperature conditions make, make sure of it low temperature conditions at low temperature conditions in between 12 to 15 or 18 degrees centigrade uh, you know for uh, you know uh, you know uh, ireland in those time the temperature was falls below 10 so that is the most favorable temperature at 12 to 15 is the most favorable temperature at night time definitely the temperature in ireland not only in ireland if you say on entire uh, england they just below above uh, the magnitude line right so the temperature definitely below 10 degrees centigrade or maybe 15 degrees centigrade so that is the most favorable conditions for late blight of potato so where this disease uh, has a great epidemic causes great epidemic in ireland in 1845 nearly 1.5 million people are died and moreover 4 to 5 million people are migrated to uh, america so most of the people who are there in america or their races from the ireland mainly because of uh, a migration because of lead blight of potato where this disease uh, almost destroyed almost all uh, crop land so that they can't be able to get the food uh, for you know uh, for consumption so in india we have stable food crop rice right so in the ireland in those time potato is the stable food crop so as i told you that the water soaked lesions appears on leaves increase in size within 2 to 3 days what will happen entirely covers the leaf if you uh, if you cut open the tubers if you cut open the tubers 
brown color discolorations or brown color uh, you know what kind of softening of uh, uh, tissues can be clearly observed which is completely unfit for consumption and uh, later stages in severe stages what will happen rottening of fruits in the severe stages a rottening of fruits will happen and sometimes mycelial growth also can be observed but the most prominent symptoms water soaked lesions on leaves and if you cut up in the uh, 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 tubers uh, we can see um, uh you know uh, as i told you that uh, softening of uh, uh, in i mean uh, uh, tubers that we can see and black color discoloration also one of the prominent symptom here so the coming to the management aspects avoid the seed tubers or infected seed tubers for planting so next one is application of prophylactic spray the mangozi bar chloro thalonil or copper oxychloride at 7 to 10 days interval especially at hill region as i told you that as temperature is very low at hill region so it's a better to spray uh, you know mancozi or chlorothalonil or copper oxychloride for uh, 7 to 10 days interval and this resistant varieties are available for this that is kufri jyoti or kufri badshat or kufri kago igaro uh, cas igaro is the resistant varieties where kufri is the area name okay uh, it is i think it's a research area i think kufri is the village i think so i'm not sure maybe uh, i think but kufri is the village name where uh, uh, you know a potato research institute where shimla uh, i hope uh, central potato research institute located at shimla and nearby kufri village i think so that's why uh, they are releasing uh, the varieties with kufri jyoti or kufri navin or kufri bachchat or kufri kas something like that uh, so the next one is early blight which is caused by alternaria solani so uh, the main difference between late blight and early blight early blight occurs earlier than late blight late blight occurs in later late seasons i mean uh, later than uh, early blight so if you see the this early blight is most prominent i mean uh, uh, we can clearly uh, observe this disease in especially in hill regions and as well as plain regions so initial symptoms uh, can occurs in uh, leaves we can see here initial symptoms can occur on uh, uh, leaves subsequently spread to the eng uh, uh, eng leaves from old leaves to eng leaves and you know if you see this uh, 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 tubers we can also see in the margins uh, uh, you know uh, concentric rings can be seen and the margins slowly starts with uh, uh, margins later it covers entire uh, uh, fruits but uh, concentric rings can be seen on leaves as well as uh, tuber also coming to the management aspects uh, fungicides like mancozip chlorothalonil can be recommended for the uh, for this disease and also go with the resistant varieties uh, some of the resistant varieties available for this so coming to the next one black scurf or stem canker which is caused by rhizoctonia solani so here the very important symptom is a black color superficial growth or black color powdery growth or black color uh, superficial or a raised growth can be seen if we if if we take this black color uh, uh, raised growth or scurfy growth Uh, if you observe in microscope we can clearly see black color sclerotia that is the most important symptom then i will i will repeat again hard superficial uh, brown color sclerotia as i told you that brown color dark raised mass is sclerotia okay this brown color sclerotia can be clearly seen on tubers make sure here black color superficial black sclerotia hard sclerotia scurfy sclerotia can be seen here later stages what will happen this small uh, sclerotia starts to cankerous growth and griddling of stems you know completely what will happen uh, it will uh, stem will wilt and the potato can't develop completely so coming to the management aspects uh, 1% of uh, acetic acid or 0.05% of uh, zinc sulfate can be recommended uh, uh, can be recommended you know 15 minutes before the um, sowing not infection sorry i mean 15 minutes sowing uh, uh, that can reduce the infection what are black wart which is caused by syncytrium endobioticum so here the name itself indicate warty growth or cankerous growth can be developed on the uh, tubers we can see corky uh, surface or warty growth can be seen on uh, especially on you know uh, tubers only so here uh, uh, in later stages the small corky growth uh, look like you know uh, uh, you know a big big what can i say that uh, uh, cock camp like uh, uh, you know uh, appearance can be seen here but the major important symptom is we can see here warty growth or black color warty uh, uh, appearance can be seen on uh, tubers potato tubers so coming to the management aspects uh, uh, resistant varieties are available for this that is kufri jyoti kufri sharpa and uh, kufri uh, 
कंचर अंड कुफ्री मुतु इज रेसिस्टेंट वेरट अवेलबल अंड आलो अप्लीकेशन आफ मेरी क्लोरइड आर अमोनियम कापर सलफेट फार्मल फाइव पर्सेंट कैन रिकमेंड फर् कंट्रोल आफ दिस डिज सो कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट वन पौडर इज कैब विच इज का स्पोंगोस्पोर सबटेरिया सो द नेम इट सेल्फ इंडिकेट पौडर इज कैब सो हियर ब्लिस्टर लाइक स्वेलिंग कैन बी सीन हियर ब्लिस्टर लाइक इट लुक लाइक सोरियस इज रईट Uh, if you see the psoriasis like or small, uh, -like, uh, uh, you know, or like small blister like you know appearance or pustules that can be seen like where a skin look like to peeled off right uh, skin is slowly looking like to peeled off uh, so the disease uh, can reduce the market value and you know uh, uh, you know the pustules can uh, go up to 3 to 7 mm in diameter so coming to the management aspects so crop rotation with non solanaceous crops Uh, treatment uh, uh, treatment of tubers with a 0.5% agolol for uh, 10 minutes dip can be recommended and also application of uh, sulfur at the rate of 900 kg per hectare is very effective against this uh, powder scab disease so coming to the next one bacterial wilt which is caused by pseudomonas solanaceae or ralstonia solanaceae uh this this is also known as bangle blight one more thing i would like to uh, mention is this is the first bacterial disease that is reported in india we know very well that you know uh, fire blight of apple that is uh, uh, irvinia amylovora which is the uh, first plant bacterial disease that is reported by tj barrel in foreign country uh, if it comes to india that is a bangle blight of potato it otherwise called as bacterial wilt of potato Uh, it is the first plant bacterial disease uh, that is reported in india uh, uh, which is caused by pseudomonas solanaceae or ralstonia solanaceae so you know uh, if you see here uh, we know very well that the most prominent symptom of the bacterial disease if we cut open the uh, leaves or if we cut open the tuber we can see the white color ooze out or we can clearly seen so uh, you know uh, the size of the branches can be reduced the size of the leaf size can be reduced wilting like you know uh, as like of bacteria so as like a fungal wilt here the bacterial wilt also can be observed but the main difference between bacterial wilt and fungal wilt is in fungal wilt we can see the vascular discoloration when we cut open the stem here in bacterial wilt we can see the ooze out so ooze out is the most prominent symptom so coming to the management aspects you know uh, uh, disease free uh, tubers can be uh, recommended for planting uh, and also you know uh, you know uh, 3 years crop rotation and adaptation of uh, uh, sanitation measures can be uh, recommended so coming to the next one soft rot and black leg which is caused by irvinia keratovora and pathover keratovora the name itself indicates softening of tubers we can see here initially what will happen uh at two phases we can see black leg uh, shoots and as well as softening of tubers we can see initially i don't want to read all the material what is there here so i just want to tell you in a simple way initially small water soaked uh you know uh, lesions water soaked lesions small black lesions will appear on the tubers what will happen this small tubers will spread inside if you see the carrot soft rot of carrot completely entire softening midrib region especially if you cut open the carrot uh, the softening will starts in the midrib region where in my kitchen also when i was cooking i had uh, so many times i had observed that in the midrib region also midrib region is the major portion where the you know uh, uh, softening can starts and later stage it, it can covers the all the entire uh, uh, you know uh, uh, carrot i mean uh, not only carrot but also tuber Uh, you know if you see here small initially it will appears in one area and it will followed by you know it can covers entire fruits if you see the leaves it will quite common yellowing and can be seen and you know dating rolling and all those things when we can seen but if you see the tuber where the economic part is tuber right we no need to think about the leaves and all those things where we have to concern about the uh, Uh, especially economic part that is a tubers if you see the tubers initially water soaked as i told you water soaked lesions appears or softening appears this softening can spreads to the entire uh, uh, you know tuber uh, later stage what will happen we can clearly see a complete black color uh, uh, appearance or which is completely unfit for consumption where it is also produces a odor which we can't able to take so completely com uh, sorry coming to the management aspects you know Uh, uh you know storage at a, a proper temperature can be uh, one of the important one proper drainage and draining of tubers at proper uh, uh, you know uh, proper uh, moisture level and storing at uh, uh, proper temperature is one of the important one because as i told you that uh, moisture is one of the most important reason right so coming to the next one leaf roll which is caused by potato leaf roll virus the name itself indicates rolling of leaves yellowing is quite common symptom if you take any viral disease yellowing is quite common 
so if you see here rolling of leaves can be one of the important one and the leaf size also can be reduced so yellowing of leaves rolling of leaves and the leaf size can be reduced if you see the leaves uh, they are look like, look like a leathery a little bit brittle and you know a powder uh, rolling of leaves can be seen here uh, uh, tuber also may develop necrosis and the tuber size also can be reduced here so here the reef roll virus is mainly transmitted by the aphids this is the aphid species here we can spray the systemic fungicides if we control the uh, aphid vector we can automatically control the disease next one is purple top roll which is a pytoplasmal disease here we can see here uh, you know uh, a rolling of leaves can be seen chlorosis and lowering uh, chlorine uh, chlorosis and rolling of leaves can be seen uh, profused auxiliary growth and shortening of nodes and internodes as like of uh, you know uh, uh, pytoplasmal disease we know very well that uh, a broom like or uh, shortening of nodes or internodes shortening of leaves this is a uh, you know quite common in uh, uh, any pytoplasmal disease if you say if you take so coming to the vector this is transmitted by the vector species uh, leaf hopper so leaf hopper you know very well that all almost all the pytoplasmal and spiroplasmal diseases are majorly transmitted by leaf hoppers uh, and here the management of mycoplasmal diseases are you know using of uh, certified free speeds and spraying of uh, uh, systemic uh, uh, fungicides can be uh, recommended because if you control the vector we can automatically control the uh, you know uh, 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 pytoplasmal disease not only pytoplasmal disease uh, any vector related disease like you know viral disease also can be controlled by using you know any systemic fungicides uh, crop rotation along with you know using of uh, uh, diseased free tubers also one of the management practice so coming to ars or net uh, each and every single disease from potato is very very important if you take uh, uh, early blight or late blight you know a leaf roll you know uh, uh, black scarf disease or you know syncytium endobatic everything is very very important uh, they mostly ask casual organisms or sometimes they can ask their historical background and all those things so uh, studying every single disease from potato is uh, in potato is very very important so this is all about uh, potato